friction today between Montgomery County leaders and Governor Larry Hogan. County Executive Mark Elridge said that he's moving ahead with a mass vaccination site, even though the governor called yesterday's announcement a little premature. Well, Scott Broom sifted through the data to find out why Montgomery County leaders say they're getting shorted. Here are some key facts about vaccination in Montgomery County compared to the rest of Maryland. According to the latest data from Maryland's Health Department, more than 230,000 Montgomery County residents have received at least one dose of vaccine. That's the most of any county by far in the state. Montgomery County's vaccination rate is nearly 22% of its population receiving the first dose, which is slightly ahead of the statewide total of 21%. However, a closer look at the numbers reveals many Montgomery County residents are getting their vaccine someplace else, like the Six Flags vaccination site in neighboring Prince George's County, where 33% of the doses are going to people from Montgomery. That's more than from anywhere else. It's the same at Regency Stadium in Waldorf. Here's Montgomery County Executive Mark Elrich today. Of the five places where the most county, where county residents have gotten the most vaccines, three of them are mass vaccination sites outside of Montgomery County. Elrich says that favors wealthier and whiter residents. An Uber ride for the person who doesn't have a car to make this journey is like a hundred dollars round trip to some of these places. It's among so. the reasons Montgomery County leaders bitterly complained that the county needs a state run mass vaccination site of its own. We need a site here. County leaders announced Monday a site would open soon in Germantown, which Governor Larry Hogan batted aside yesterday. There has been no decision made. I think that was a little bit premature. Meanwhile, it's hospitals and retail pharmacies that give out the majority of vaccine in Montgomery County. Nearly 55% from those sources compared to 45% from the local health department. Scott Broom, WUSA 9.